potentially even getting to the head a little bit more. Okay, so let's get our eyes in place and let us actually turn on background images so we can see what's going on here. And let's kind of pull them up here. So I'm going to hold down control to snap it to the grid as I'm moving. And I'm going to kind of scale it in over here. And let's duplicate it and then kind of drag it over here. Also holding down control, making sure it's in the same position in both directions. And let's go back to the head. Boop. And let's pull this thing out. Oh, yes. Wonderful bug eyes. Let's kind of stick them back a little bit because they will be embedded in fleshy eyelids. And let's do a little bit of work. So let's right click on the head. We're going to create a new material here. We're going to create skin. And that skin is going to be blender orange. And to do that, we're just going to click the eyedropper. Go all the way up here and just click on one of these pixels. All right, I got one. Okay. And I, I think to go with blender orange, we should get a little blender blue for the iris. So let's go to the iris, right click on that and click here. Boop. Let's go get some blender blue. Boop. All right. Blender blue and blender green. <laughs> blender green. Uh, blender orange. Okay. So now what we should do is create another mesh for the eye. And to do that, it's actually fairly simple. We actually rip off the eye. And uh, let's go check out this over here. Uh, so if you didn't catch me creating a new object in another layer, uh, to do that, you can hit Shift D to duplicate this object. Hit M to move it to a different layer. And we're going to move it to layer 3. So we can work on this a little bit easier. Let's look at the side. And... So what's cool about eyes and the fleshy stuff around eyes is that they are similar structure. So for this, actually, let's reassign these colors a little bit. Let's uh, remove them. Okay, we have to apparently remove them here. And let's select skin for this last one. Okay. So let's select that. Let's select that. Uh, just select that. That way, remove that. Okay. So let us pull this thing in. Extrude in. And now we have a thing in the back. That's fine. We're not going to need it too much longer. Let's scale this thing up. Scale this thing in. Scale this out. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a little pocket around the eye called the eyelids, and eyelids are very useful for keeping your eyes, well, clean and protecting them. Okay, so let's go over here and let's see how this works. So let's, uh, I guess, scale the whole thing up. Let's actually scale it on every axis. No, yeah, every axis but Y. Nah, okay, just scale it all up. Scale in on Y. And let's start tweaking things around. Okay. So let's see our alien head as well. Let's kind of drag things around. Okay. So this side and this side. Yeah, no, let's uh, select this. Proportional editing on. Pull this thing out a little bit. Select this side. Pull this thing out a little bit. Pull. Uh, yeah. So let's grab these. Switch to faces mode. Faces. And let's just grab this set. Ah. Having difficulty here. Uh, okay. And then middle mouse click to get rid of that selection, like those, two, two. Let's kind of pull it out a little bit to create our eyelid going over the eyeball. And let's kind of do this as well. Pull this one out. 
pull these back. And I'll pull this in. Da, 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 da. Starting to get a weird ET like vibe going. Oh, that is a terrifyingly fleshy eyeball. Uh, let's select these. Kind of push this down a little bit. And pull this out a little bit more. Okay, let's kind of pull this out. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create some loops that encapsulate the eye, but don't really intersect it too much. And these might actually be way too big for our uh, our object, so let's actually scale them both down and see what that looks like. That's looking a little bit better. Okay, let's uh, grab these edges. I want to create the little creases there because it's close to closer to anatomy of creatures of this world, which we can recognize as creatures. So that's helpful for our, our human viewers. Um, let's actually kind of pull this whole setup back a little bit. So control, right click, deselect all that stuff, pull it back. And... I want to select this ring, scale it in, uh, scale it in the X direction, kind of pull it out a little bit more. Okay, so we're getting we're getting a little bit closer. It'd be cool if this thing <laughs> if this thing had eye stalks. That'd be kind of cool. And then we could kind of have it be like a little buggy eyed alien, and then we wouldn't have to worry about positioning on the head and that'll give that'll leave clearly more room in this thing's skull for brains uh actually yeah let's let's uh let's do two little versions let's have it attached to the head and we'll see what it looks like with little eye stocks and we'll see which one's better and then we will work from there all right so that is what we're doing next lesson we're going to be creating two little versions of this thing because i want to know which looks better and uh we'll continue on eden Okay, uh, so, <laughs> so um, I'm going to turn off the background image. I'm going to hit Shift S, cursor to center, Shift A, and I'm going to create a curve, a Bezier curve, and then I'm going to create another curve, a circle. Ha ha. And I'm going to go to my Bezier curve, right click on it, go to curve properties, which only shows up if you have a curve selected. It's kind of like edit. Uh, uh, polygon properties and let's uh go over to mesh properties let's go over to our bevel object and we want a bezier curve and we can also try a taper object too which kind of makes us do cool things like have little tapers um we're gonna also edit this and that'll change the way it tapers and all this other fun stuff but for now i'm gonna leave those both the same because that's kind of awesome so, I think, so, yeah, okay, so, let's do this. I'm going to duplicate this, move it up here, and I'm going to move it to our eyeball channel. And, actually, we have two eyeball channels, and I want to fix this. Because if we have our eyeballs be external, like uh, like if they were to be you know, on eye stocks, we kind of have to stick it out a little bit. Okay, and proportional editing is on. Let's pull this out. Okay, great. Cool, yes. All right. And let's make sure things are on the right channels. Let's uh, switch this to the skin texture. Let us now kind of plug things together. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, this one. That's the one that we want. Skin. Okay. So, let's quickly rotate this. Whoop. So, 90 degrees. And let's put it up here with our eyeballs. And because it's a curve, we can do cool things to it, like bend things around the way we want them to. And we can actually animate these things, too. So, it, this is... 
this is super useful uh, information later. Okay, so this is good. Pull this thing up, I guess. Kind of have it sticking out of the guy's head. And let's check this out. Okay. And move it over here. And... Okay. So let's take this setup and copy it. Shift D, move it to this channel because I want to have an entirely different channel dedicated to this. Move this. Uh, let's actually delete this because we don't want this anymore because we have it in a new channel. Let's copy this. Move this also over there to channel four. And or uh, that's actually layer five. Let's move this in. Gonna do a little bit more work with our eye stock. Let's stuff it in there pretty good. And oh man, we should definitely rig this in the future. Okay, so let's kind of tweak it out a little bit. Okay, so we've got an interesting curve. We've got our eye stock, and let us duplicate this. And let's duplicate this. What is going on here? Eyeball. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Let's move this over. And let's just kind of rotate this the other way. Boop. Okay. Let's go back to our head. Let us now select both of these. Switch back over to our head. Switch back to this. Not this one. Our head. Let's pull it up. Kind of have eyeballs sticking out of this guy's head. Pretty sweet. Yeah. I like it. And let's have a second version just to be safe. Just to see what it looks like in the other style. And we should have... Nope, didn't select all of them. Select it like this. Shift D. Let's move it down below it. So channel 5 is going to be our eyeball channel. And... Let's see what these look like down attached to the body. Okay, let's turn the background image on again. Kind of match them up. Yeah, I could kind of go either way on this, to be honest. Okay, let's leave our options open and... In our next lesson, we will be working on the mouth. I started. Okay, so I'm just going to go with the crazy snail eyes right now. And do we have an isolated head? No. Okay, so let's start working. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I want a very cartoony kind of mouth. So I'm just going to kind of cut here. And let's go so far as to select most of this angle to really create a sharp cut in. And let's turn off uh, proportional editing. So O. And then I think we can scale it or no. Okay, there we go. Okay. And I think we can only go so far without having to create some more geometry. And hit E to extrude, pull it in, and I think once more we'll do it, E, and then let's pull it in up here. Z is to switch between wireframe and not, and we're actually going to get rid of that aspect. We're going to go up here, and let's grab this edge, actually. Go into this view and grab the edge, pull it back, and grab this, pull it back, see what else we got. And let's pull this back a bit further, too. So we're making something that looks kind of like a Muppet, which is kind of awesome. It's going to be like, ah, rah, 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 which is definitely how Muppets talk. Um, by Muppet I mean non-trademarked puppet-like creature 
Uh, let's just rotate this. How far back does this go? Let's go. Let's go as far back as we can. Pull this back. Flatten that up. Big old mouth. Okay. So we can also uh, change the material inside the mouth to give us a kind of different look in there, which is kind of cool. Let's do that. Okay. So like we did before, we can assign a new material. Actually, we need to create a new material first. So boop. And new. Let's call it mouth. Okay, and let's make it a little kind of pinkish, darkish color, like the inside of a mouth would be. And let us start grabbing points. Do, 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 do. Actually, the easiest way to do it would be to kind of just grab a bunch of them and make sure that we got all the ones that we want. So we need to grab these. Do, 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 do. And... These two. I've always found the easiest way to work is by reduction rather than uh, to select all the ones that you want exactly first and then just getting rid of these middle mouse click to get rid of those. Do, do, do. Uh, to get rid of these. And let us assign it. Oh, that is way too much. And. C to pull up circle selection. Let's get this cheek one. Derp, derp. Oh, we want that back. Ah, oh, no. Okay. And now. And now. We should have all the ones that we want selected and all the ones we don't want selected, not selected. Assign. Okay. So, we've got kind of like a little Muppet mouth going on. Uh, or non-trademarked puppet um yeah that's pretty cool and then we have to make spe special considerations when we start animating this thing um but yeah now it's time to start working on other aspects of it such as the spacesuit let's kind of uh, see what we're where we're at um okay so what we need to start making is these little extra shell pieces and Let's see what we can just model on our mesh right here to just kind of give it a spacey vibe to begin with. Um, let's change this material to suit white uh, or cloth. cloth, And then let's add a new material and let's call it rubber. Rubber. Okay. And let's make rubber kind of grayish-y, blacky, and assign... And I'm going to select everything, assign it to cloth, so that we can work on assigning things to rubber. So, uh, let us start just selecting bands of areas where we think that rubber will reside. So, I think that rubber will live in the joints. And it's going to kind of put it up in the shoulders, assign. Um, that might be too much. We can always go in and tweak it later. I think that there will be rubber at the tips of the fingers and the bottoms of the hands so that we can grip things easier. Um, actually, that's, I'm just going to get the very tippy-tippy tips of the fingers. Okay, and I'm going to make sure to select all that stuff. Assign. Okay, let's grab the little bit inwards on the bottom of the grippies of the finger and let's assign rubber to that too. We can actually try to make it a more curvy shape, which I think we totally should. Uh, but that's a good starting point and we can actually just, if, if we're feeling frisky, we can actually bake all this material information down into a UV map, which I think we should. Let's uh let's reassign this to cloth. Okay. And let's get these little areas in here toward the major crotchal region, which is clearly a anatomical term. And let's put rubber here. Okay, where else can we put it? Oh, knees, of course. In our fancy space bell bottoms. Um the bottoms of the shoes. Okay, assign. Oh, no. 
cloth is not what we want. There we go. Uh, let's see. Maybe the joint here, sign. Yeah. We're, we're, we're quickly making a spacesuity like look. Maybe something around the neck a little bit. I think that's a little too big. Let's, uh, let's see what it looks like, though. That's fine. Uh, we, we can always get rid of it if we don't like it. That's actually looking pretty cool. Um, I think another one, if we had a, an extra loop here, like to separate the chest from down there, let's just use that. And I, I think that'll help a little bit with animation as well, just to break up that area a little bit more, a sign. And let's let's do the same down here. Kind of give it more definition and more options later on in the future. Boop. Let's sign back cloth there. Uh, okay. So, starting to get a little spacey vibe. And how far deep in the crotch do we want to go? And also, kind of hold down control and click in this region. Doop. See what that looks like. A sign. Yeah, it's kind of got like a rubber <laughs> rubber underwear. All right. So, um Oh yeah, we need the wrists obviously. So, this area assign. Okay. So, first pass at making this thing look good and yeah, let's keep going further. We're going to add some more props next and let's start with a space helmet. Actually, yeah, let's start with a space helmet, and then from there we'll move out to the other pieces, parts of this spacesuit that we're building. All right. We're tremendously happy with this little cowl, and what we should do is fix this before moving on to the helmet that fits it. I also want to do a little bit of tweaks to our dude. Uh, let us do a quick thing where we... Actually, can we just... Yeah, okay. So what I want to do is I want to select these and I want to actually kind of move the jaw back, the lower lip back a little bit. And yeah, that's that's good for now because uh, the goal would be to close the mouth in the future using either a blend shape or something like that and that'll just make it easier to select polygons. Okay, let's select our fancy object here and it is a little bit too sharp in those edges and I want to smooth them out a little bit more. Okay, so let's go here and then shift E, draw it back down a little bit, see what it looks like over there. Yeah, okay. Let's make these corners less sharp, less like daggers shooting out at us, so that's what I want to do. Whoop. Let's kind of shrink that down a little bit as well. I'll just go down here. Let's move that out a bit. So I'm just hitting Shift E and then lowering the how tight these things are. Okay. So I'm okay with this little wrinkle in the back. If you guys are, this little point up here is okay. And yeah, I think this is going to be a good starting point for our helmet. Okay. So, first things first, because we want things to match, let's just select this ring of polygons up top. And then let us hit Shift D to duplicate. And now let's hit P and then separate by selection. Okay. So, now we have our very own ring of polygons. Let's put it down here in this channel down here. And so, let's see what we're doing. Oh, geez, that's terrifying. It's actually kind of funny looking. I'd laugh at it. Um, okay. So this ring of polygons has to come out a little bit. So let's uh, select this edge, extrude, and then scale it a little bit. And then let's also kind of select the whole thing and extrude, and then down on the Z axis, or for our uh, Queen's English friends overseas or to the north in Canada, uh, Z, 
All right, let's pull this back a little bit so it's kind of in line. And we've got some Z or Z fighting right there. That's fine. Control N, flip normals outside. And let us select this, this, that. That's what I want. Pull it up. Okay. So now we have this little puffy ring sticking out from that area. And let's make sure that. We've got polygons on the bottom side. Yes, we do. Good. Okay. So, from here, what we can do is... Actually, let's scale it out a little bit more. So, I'm going to select this one. Scale. That's fine. Good. Good. And just a little bit. Oh, I hit Alt-A, which is play animation. So... That is a useful hotkey, but not for us right now. Let's poof this out. No, let's uh, select both of these rings. Poof it out. Uh, I actually don't think we need that extra ring on the outside, so let's uh, kind of let's go to edges and take this one and delete, delete, and then edge loops. Okay. So now we have our little toilet seat around our dude's neck. Okay. And from here. What we can do is we can actually let's select this and of course we're going to duplicate it and P to separate because I like working in as many little chunks as possible and let us move this to this channel. Okay, now here and here let's go back to our little strip that we just separated and let's even go further and now let's key uh, yeah let's scale this up a little bit uh no actually let's delete this delete vertices and let's go back to vert mode and let's extrude inwards let's scale it in a little bit Okay, so now we have this little strip of polygons, and let's extrude up. So, I guess, like this. And let's kind of rotate it a little bit, because we want this to be our space helmet. And, okay. Kind of scale in. And then we're going to tweak this significantly once we... Uh, Get a little bit further into it. Okay. Actually, we, we don't even need that inner shell. So let's uh let's get rid of it. So let's undo, undo. Okay. And do we have to undo more? No, okay. So fancy thing about Blender is that it has selections in the undo buffer, which is great. Let's like this. Let's now just extrude up and rotate this. Scale it in. Extrude up. Scale in. Extrude up. Scale in. And just kind of mash it together at the top. Extrude and merge at center. And then let's just grab this. Boop. Pull it in. Okay. So, another thing is select all, and then control N, and let's also shift E and get rid of our creases. So, turn that all back to zero. So, now we have this little weird shape here. And this is going to be the beginnings of our helmet. So, let's see what it looks like with our guy. And, obviously we can't see him. So, okay, there we go. So... Because he's such a weird shape, we have to kind of uh, modify our space helmet to fit that. And because I mean, like, if if this was an actual spacefaring species, they would definitely make their little crazy space helmets fit their <laughs> fit their actual profiles. And so scale this out a little bit. Scale this out a little bit. We still want to have like the the 1950s bubble helmet because that's just classic in sci-fi, and I love it. 
Okay. So this is looking a little bit better. We have... Oh, I want to tuck it in a little bit. So select all these, scale it in, so we can have that little rim around our helmet. Okay. And in our next video, we're going to start detailing the helmet and making... and tweaking it so it looks more like the kind of space helmet that this kind of creature would actually wear. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's look at our little spaceman. Uh, okay. So, um, for humans, we generally have a little bit more space sticking out the front end, and we have this little visor thing that goes up over the top. So, to do that here, what we can do is we can add another ring. Boop. And let us just select these four, turn on proportional editing, and let's kind of scale up how we pull things. And kind of pull this out a little bit. Okay. So let's give it a little bit of roundness there. Uh, we have a shape that kind of pulls out, so obviously because he's got eye stocks, he's going to need room to manipulate them. Let's kind of widen this up a little bit. So we're getting a big kind of giant grape sticking out of this piece part. And uh, that was looking good, but I want to turn my proportional editing a little bit further down. Because that's not doing well. And let's pull this out a little bit more. So to give him more range of motion with his eyes. And let's pull it out in front because I'm assuming that this species, like ours, uses uh, their prehensile limbs, like, or well, not prehensile, but like they use their limbs to talk. So why wouldn't they be uh, expressive with their eye stock? So let's kind of pull this stuff forward too. Forward. Okay. We can even like kind of angle it a little bit. Okay. So this looks like a big, goofy space helmet. And let's start adding details to our big, goofy space helmet. And let's just make sure that our points are within our little circle thing of truth. Okay. So let's select our space helmet, and let's create a new material. We don't need cloth or rubber. So let's new material. Let's call it helmet. Uh, no, no, visor, and let's make sure that it is transparent. Whoop. Whoop. And that's cool and stuff. Let's also make sure that it is smooth. And actually, I'm curious, will this display our... Nah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's turn display back off. Shading, and... Okay. So let's look at our background image again. And to do that, let's click front. So we're starting to get there. Um, what we need to do is build out more helmet stuff. Because we're going to do a lot of staring at this guy's face because that's how we do as humans. We kind of anthropomorphize things and look at faces. And let's see. Yeah, that's that's probably enough space inside of his helmet. Okay. Maybe a little bit more round at the back. Because, like, even if it's... We want, we want to make this aesthetically pleasing. So let's just kind of bubble it out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, let's go to the collar. And let's add some geometry. So uh, shift R or control R. It's control R to add geometry there like that. Let's undo that. And let's actually extrude this out and turn off proportional editing. Move this in a little bit. And I want to add in another section over here. So these are the, the little locks that you use to kind of screw the helmet on to the suit. And what we need to do is we need to tighten these up and tighten those other ones up. So Shift-E. 
And let's grab this one too. Shift E. We're going to basically make this a very square shape and attached pretty much to the edges. That's good. And uh, two, 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 shift E. Okay, let's see right here. That's fine. Shift E. Let's check underneath. Okay, we're good. And add some another aspect in the back. Redundancy, always very important in a spacesuit. So that when things explode and you lose oxygen or whatever gas your people breathe, you will have a slight higher chance of surviving than just dying in the frozen wastes. Shift E. Okay. Let's grab this one down here. Shift E. Shift E. Okay. Okay. Pull this in. Yeah. Let's kind of make this top area a little bit less juddy outy. Let's pull this in. Okay. And this part in the bottom is sticking out way too much. It's giving him an extra chin. And we don't want that for right now. Or at all, I guess. Pull this in. And even kind of pull it down a little bit. And yeah, actually just no. Uh, let's pull this aspect in as well. Kind of thin it up a little bit. Okay, and let's make... I'm being very picky on these things. Let's uh, kind of make this a little bit more of a trapezoid shape. And pull this in. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm almost happy with it. Hold on, hold on. All right. Okay. Sorry that you're watching me tweak things. I just need to. I I need this. I need to do this. Okay. Pull this down. Pull this down. Okay. I'm going to say that's good enough for right now. Let's now add a little shield behind it. Because uh, we're going to make a little little visor. And to do that, what we can do is actually kind of... Let's, let's harvest from this shape. I love doing that. Just taking little pieces, parts from other parts of the model and using them in other ways and let's go as far as this okay shift d and p to separate by selection all right and now let's select this object and yeah okay so in our next lesson we're going to be working on this aspect so the top back part of the visor and then we'll be adding in a second visor to add as a little uh, sun shield like we have in our later astronauts, which is pretty sweet because things are really bright out there. All right, and I'll see you next